you probably noticed the silver price and gold price have been very strong, very resilient as of late. Gold reaching up to new all-time highs. But why aren't the mining stocks following suit? There's a big gap between the performance that we've experienced with the metals and with the performance that we've experienced with the mining stocks. Something has to give. Either the gold and silver price need to come down, we don't want that, or the mining stocks need to go up. I want you to think about something that's very critical when we look at this situation. Big central banks, big countries, big investors around the world are buying gold and silver that has yet to catch on with the mining stock sector. I heard somebody recently say central banks aren't buying mining stocks. The mining stock sector, by comparison, is still quite small. Maybe it takes a little while. Just because there's not a lot of people yet investing in mining stocks, it takes a little while for that market to catch on and catch up. Today, we're going to talk about channel sponsor Fortuna Silver. And I'm going to explain to you what I see going on right now at that company. And they're one of the companies that could benefit when the mining stocks do truly catch up. And while Fortuna's performance has been very, very solid over the last few months, I think there's opportunity for even more growth in the future. But let's start by talking about a recent announcement from the company. They announced their Q1 production numbers. They were pretty darn good, on track to meet their forecast for 2024. But what's super interesting that was buried in the press release are what they did during the quarter. I need to read this list off to you. They repaid another $40 million in debt in Q1 of 2024. That's on top of $80 million in debt they'd repaid during the final two quarters of 2023. They reinitiated their share buyback program, buying back over a million shares of stock during Q1. Good deployment of capital. They also repurchased half of a royalty that they had on their new Seguela mine in Cote d'Ivoire, West Africa. So they're making smart moves for the future, all the while producing gold and silver at a rate that increases over time. I'm going to compare Fortuna to a big silver mining company here in the United States, Hecla Mining, in a few minutes and show you why when you compare those companies side by side, hey, nothing against Hecla. I think they're a great company. But when you compare what Fortuna is doing and how Fortuna is valued to Hecla, I think there's a great opportunity within Fortuna Silver right now. A few more points I want to hit on. Um, the company also is investing $41 million this year into a major leach pad expansion program at their Lendero mine in Argentina. This is an investment in the future. Jorge Ganoza and the executive team at Fortuna is always making strong, wise, sometimes difficult, long-term decisions for the company. This $41 million investment they'll make this year into the Lendero mine will provide benefits to the company for 10 years to come. Another thing that I am super ex excited about with Fortuna is that they're budgeted to spend almost $41 million this year on exploration. And they've had some great exploration success as of late. Uh, at their silver mine in, in Mexico, they have uh, found a new vein called the Yesi vein. And they're exploring that and exploring the possibility of possibly extending the life of the mine in Mexico. But these were what I could consider bonanza grade silver drill holes at their operations in Mexico. Hey, let's move on to talking about a comparison between Hecla, like America's oldest silver mining company, and Fortuna. Now, Fortuna actually produces more gold now. So we're not exactly comparing apples to apples, but both companies uh, produce a mix of both gold and silver. Here's a brief summary spreadsheet I put together 
comparing Hecla Mining to Fortuna. As you can see on the first line, total market capitalization of the company. That's what the stock market values the entire value of these companies. Hecla, almost $3 billion. Fortuna, $1.4 billion. But here's where it starts to get interesting. Net tangible assets. That means all the assets of the company at book value, and then you reduce from that total liabilities. You pay off all the debt. And what you're left with at Hecla is about $2 billion, but at Fortuna, $1.2 billion. I find it very interesting that the net tangible assets of Fortuna are still very close to the entire market cap of the company. With Hecla, you can see the market is providing a bigger premium, right? Almost 50% uh, above their net tangible assets to get to their market cap. And just to put things into context here, if we were to have Fortuna valued at the same level as Hecla, we would need to see nearly a doubling in the share price of Fortuna. But let's look at revenues. This is where I was completely astounded. And again, I have nothing against Hecla Mining. I think they're a fine company and doing a great job mining silver uh, and some gold here in North America. But when we compare revenues, if we start back in 2021, you'll see that Hecla had about $800 million uh, in revenue, where Fortuna was down near $600 million. But the next year, 2022, Hecla's revenues actually dropped to $720 million when Fortuna's increased to $680 million. And when you look at 2023, you see that Hecla's revenues remained relatively flat, where Fortuna's really took off to $840 million. A lot of that can be attributed to uh, the startup of the of their new uh, Seguela mine in Cote d'Ivoire, which will continue to drive growth as we go through 2024. But look at this, guys. Fortuna generating significantly more revenue on an annual basis than Hecla, yet the total value of the company is less than half of what Hecla gets at $3 billion. It gets even more interesting when we look at cash flow from operations. All this data is from Yahoo Finance. Uh, Hecla generated last year, 2024, $75 million in cash flow from continuing operations. Fortuna generated $300 million, just under $300 million in cash flows from continuing operations. So when we look at revenues, Fortuna has them beat. When we look at cash flow from operations, Fortuna absolutely has them beat by a magnitude of four times, according to Yahoo Finance. But when we look at market cap, Hecla is valued twice as high when capital and attention returned to the precious metal mining sector, I think Fortuna Silver could find itself in a very enviable position. But Jorge Ganoza has built this company over almost the last 20 years by making wise, long-term decisions. I like when I hear him talking about seeding the company for the future, harvesting gains during times like now, when the precious metals prices are very high, but having a company with a fortress balance sheet that can withstand any precious metals environment. Do your own due diligence. You can learn more about the company at fortunasilver.com. I appreciate you joining me today, and I'll look forward to seeing you soon.